Welcome back to Cactus Court Plays, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. My name is Kabandre. My name is Bobby. And this is our 50th episode that will be uploaded to YouTube. Yay! So holy crap, that was fast! It was very fast, but it goes fast when you upload every weekday, I guess. That's, and we didn't, like, start out... Listen, we started out with, like, a Tuesday and Thursday episode. In the next week, it was like, okay, never mind, people ask for more, we need to make it every yeah. day. No, it was frustrating to me because we had so much, like, backlog... But it was going up so slowly that I'm like, fuck it. So, I don't know, a five day a week thing works for me. I mean, so long as we can keep up with it and we're doing an alright job so far. Yeah, uh, we haven't missed a day yet. Yeah. So, hooray so, us. We are we are good. 50 episodes! 50 episodes! Alright, uh, for those of you who were watching the last episode where I said I'd find a good guide and I'd give a special shout out to it. I didn't find a good guide, so it's no shout out. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, fuck guides. Yeah. But he did say I'm supposed to go outside, so I'm, I'm doing that. Alright, so climb back down. All right, so right, climb down. Well, read that sign. What does it say? Shortcut to bottom. No, go left. Bitch. Maybe don't don't die. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. Give me that rupee, bitch. Am I supposed to battle? Either bomb them or do the air thing. I don't like them. You're gonna die. He hit me three times, and it was very rude. You super suck. And now I got this... Wah, wah. Uh, and like we said last time, uh, there's gonna be some typing in the background. It's because we were in a shared space. Right. Okay. Right. I don't have a beam. My bad. Alright, so apparently the guide where I learned that there's supposed to be another thing is also wrong. What a coincidence. Yes. It works out. So. No, not there. Well, maybe there's hearts. Oh yeah, maybe. Except don't you usually only get hearts from uh from bad guys? From from doing a good job against bad guys? You know. Do you? No, you can get hearts from just about anything. That's what I thought. I'm just giving you shit. Don't be a cabbage. Because you don't do well against bad guys. I don't. You're you're bad. I'm bad at being good. Oh no, I don't like the spider. Alright, All right, so who's this who's this green? Don't know. Hooray! Step on the other thing. I need a thing to put down. Put a bomb on one. Nope, that did not work. I told you that that's not how it worked. Sometimes it is. You are filled with japes, good sir. You're a jape. So can I guess I'm supposed to go down? Side with you? Oh, can I? Probably not. I don't think I can put it down, though. I think I can only throw it. Yeah, and, I can't, and you can't bring it inside. Let's see what's down here. Mushroom, mushroom. Maybe. And now you can even do a jump across. We. That's <laughs> not how you do that. <laughs> this is the gamer in me. Eh. I let go of the action button, not the not the control pad. And now you're back to here. Oh yay! That guy's gonna kill me. Probably. Uh, Alright, so you said I'm supposed to explore over here anyway, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, go down. Shut up. <laughs> this is why it's so troublesome to have him play a game. Yeah. Like, what's to the right? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> like that huge whole bridge with the door and everything. Like, kind of important. And then we already be over here? Did you already come through that door? Then I blow this up? Maybe. Yeah, yeah she did. Alright, so go you back. You fool. Are there hearts? I need hearts. Give me hearts. You gotta stop that beeping somehow or else you guys are gonna tune out. Yeah, I fucking hate the beeping. It's bullshit beeping. It's like, we know, we get it. If only there were a setting to make that beeping not happen. Yeah. Bombs. But you can't carry anymore? Hey, look, you can climb down. Hooray! Not oh, Cornell's base. Oh no! Ho ho! That thing was gonna get you. Oh look! Abominable thing. Abominable. Yes, just like that. Fuck off, meatballs! <laughs> it's Cotty with a chance of meatballs. Oh shit, what a bullshit, what a. Caught a fairy! Yeah! This winged friend will come to your aid if your life energy is depleted. 
I might fucking just go kill myself, though. Oh, no, never mind. She healed you. Oh, thanks, friend. Yeah. I am an idiot. I knew that she would. I didn't mean it. Dude. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, another fairy. Alright, now I'm gonna change my <laughs> equipped weapon here. To that guy. <laughs> I should go. There you go. Now climb back up. Climb back up? And go back to the way you were doing stuff. To the right. To the right, to the right. To the up here? Sure. And oh, here. now I can climb that other wall! Not that wall. Over here. Over yonder? Yes. Where's over yonder? It's just at the end of my finger. That's an old joke. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back down. You motherfucker. Alright, to the right. You see where there's that little ended? No, back to the left. Up. To the left a little bit. Up a little bit. Oh, I see. I see what you're talking about. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. I didn't step in shit. I'm implying that you did. I know, it's great. Oh, look, more stuff. Yeah, and another heart piece. So, should I not grab these fairies and then make sure that they're still here? Sure. I mean, you have no need to grab them, so don't grab them. I will not grab them. Don't grab random fairies, okay? That's good life advice. That is a public service announcement from me, uh, Givandre from Cactus Core. Yeah. Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. We are totally qualified to speak on this subject. Yeah. Look, looks like another thing that you can blow I am bombs. No bomb throwing. But we're totally gonna. I got you, fam. I didn't throw it. I placed it gently. Yeah. Uh-oh. No shit. What is this? Can you get some water from me? I don't want to waste my fairy. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. I always like this song. Toss a bomb into it. Toss a bomb into it. Can you actually toss a bomb? Wow. I would have never, ever, ever thought of that. No. Navi! Great fairy. Whoa! Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into um, the spring? Don't choose golden or silver. Or the silver bomb? Golden bomb? Silver bomb? Neither. Yeah, be honest here. So, neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. Oh shit, what up? You can, carry up to, you can carry up to 30 bombs now. Fuck! Shit! May light shine on your quest. Nice girlfriend. Yeah. Alright. She hook you up. She's your sugar mama. Oh girl. Anyways, uh, up and apparently to the left a bit. To the left, to the left. Everybody to the left. I don't know that song, I just know that little bit because it was on the radio a lot. Yeah, avoid boulders. See, the platforming bit, I can do that part. Oh shit! You got so lucky. How would you even filled up your bombs? Look at that, you're all the way at 30. I know, she's a... She's a good girl. Very nice lady. Come at me, bro. Go. Bam. Two birds, one. Hey, asshole. Yeah, but just what a fucking. No, explore around the Oh, shit. <laughs> That's dangerous. Explore around the I don't like this blue. Why is it blue? Why is it different? It, it has more HP. Yeah, no. Whatever that thing is, you see it there? Just blow that shit up. Blow what up? See that little spot of grass? Can you blow that up? No, I bet that's where I go in as a small. Oh, okay. But explore around some, don't just, you know, heat. Woman, you. I am busy. No, you're not. I'm going in this this hole. Don't act like what Look you do this. is important. Look at this gentleman. Yeah, he seems very nice. I'm the Cronell Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. Same. 
<laughs> you seem to be but a child, and yet you climbed this forbidding mountain alone? No, my, my sentient hat also helped, and also this big fairy, and some really <laughs> small fairies, and some signs. Child, are you high? Yeah. <laughs> I must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climbed this mountain? Nope. Bombs! Bombs are the answer! To everything. Uh, well, goodbye. Alright, so this this strange pattern wall in here, right behind you, you said? Nah, just bomb that shit. I'm not gonna waste a bomb. But you have, like, 30. Shut up. You have so many bombs. What if I need 30 bombs for a puzzle? You don't know. But you won't. You don't know. You're right, It I didn't don't. work out. No, but I'm sure it made his fart stink at least a little. I was trying to give him a shave. <laughs> well, so I am supposed to bomb this. Or Maybe. not. Because it didn't work before. Try it. I don't like these meatballs. Maybe multiple bombs. Hey, asshole. I don't like you. Stop this. Rudeness. I'm out of here. I don't know about those gray circles. They look like doors. So, I'm gonna grab the mushroom and pull on the mushroom. And squat along. Yeah, like this. Oh! oh! I guess that wasn't enough. It, it's raining on the other side of this cliff. Whee! All right, and we know what to do here. There's many things to be done. Hooray! I am now small. Disregard the sound. It is uh, my wife getting food, which is very important. Yes. Food is great. So, the food person is here. So, there will be some sounds, and that's okay. Yeah. We guess food. Yes. Like for food and sleep, I will excuse many things. Oh shit! Down into the right, you just saw that path. Shut up. <laughs> These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. I just hate how erect he gets. It's weird. If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. I got you, fam. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, platform rain, yeah, huh? There you go. Did just... I get hit? No. No. There's the platform in bit. Which means the good bit, which is why Link's Awakening is the best one. Because it has platforming in it. No. Yo, shout outs to Link's Awakening. It's the best one. So now you get to get big, and then move some rocks around. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I still can't get in there, though. Nope, not yet. And it's not like I can cross these little rocks as a minish. So... But now you can walk across as a tall? Yeah, but like... So now can you go to the right? And oh look, there's a path! Oh, there's a... It's a puzzle! Yes. i play played Pokemon. Have you? Yeah. Hey asshole. Now you just gotta push this boulder, do the things. That is a nice boulder. I love the Gabriel Iglesias bit with that. Gabriel Iglesias, huh? Yeah. He, he's funny. A lot of his earlier stuff was way funnier than his new stuff, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, but they each their own. But he does uh, one joke to where he he was doing a show in Memphis, so you know, my home state, Tennessee. Yeah, but he talks nothing but shit about Memphis. Which, to be fair, it's Memphis, and I can agree. Yeah, shoutouts to uh, Memphis. Hey, I've been there. I know about it. Memphis is shit. I know a thing or two about Memphis, and it's ass. Yeah. If you're thinking about going to Memphis for whatever reason, don't. Just, just, just don't. It's easier for you to just kill yourself. Yeah. Just go to Nashville and kill yourself there. No, just in general. You know, you you'll save somebody in Memphis a bullet. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go to uh, Steak and Shake first before you kill yourself. Yeah, that's very true. If you haven't had Steak and Shake, believe me when I say there's something worth living for. Have Steak and Shake. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. So there's so many rocks to move. But what was the point? Oh yeah, he did the joke, <laughs> and it's uh, he did the you know, uh, a Shrek and donkey joke. For whatever reason, I cannot exactly remember. 
But then a redneck dude from Memphis comes up and he's like, I gotta tell you, your show was hysterical. I damn near pissed myself and you yelled, Donkey! And my friend who I was with, he didn't laugh, so I had to explain it to him. He says I'm wrong, but I know I'm right. Could you set the record straight? And so Gabriel was like, yeah, what, what'd you tell your friend? Because that's the funniest bit, is when you, when you don't just say, oh, it meant this. It's like, yeah, but what did you say first? He's like, all right, get this. I told him it was funny, because you're Mexican. And Mexican people ride donkeys. Yeah, that's it. That was an actual thing that I fully believe was said, because I've been to Memphis. <laughs> Shit. And when you're dealing with drunks, you don't really correct them. It's just like, okay. <laughs> so he was Why just can't like, I push okay. this? Because you suck at life. Shut up. Go back. Go back where? Uh, I'm going to point at the screen. You guys can't see this. Go back. There. Push that one down. Push the other one left. Aha! Uh -huh. no. Or I guess you can't. Oh, so you got to go back around and push it right. Ow, now I understand. Then this down. And then that this one. left. There you go. Bam, 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 butter and jam. I need to get into the Zelda mindset, which I don't have. Hey, asshole. You are fucking Man. huge cuck. I don't care for you. You're gonna get fucked up there, friendo. Lies. <laughs> I, I am a dirty liar. It's not lies, it's fake news. Yeah, alternative facts or whatever. Yeah, alternative facts. That was the thing. I love that. Down, 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 down. Cody. This balloon bird is so strange. It is very It's kind of cute, though. Put it in. Uh-oh. Oh, you gotta suck him out? I gotta suck. And blow up some shit. And now do the thing. Leap across. Leap with all your might. You ever uh, pulled on a mushroom so hard that your uh, face got all red? Once or twice when I was a teenager, then I learned how to control myself. <laughs> 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 And you learned about lubrication. <laughs> yeah, that's that's important too. I'm just look mineral oil. It's the same thing as baby oil. It just doesn't. We already good. had the mineral oil. I already used it on the the green beans. That's mineral water. Same not oil. thing. No. Don't be a bitch. I'm not being a bitch. You're the one that's saying stuff. I'm a bitch. You're a bitch. We should be each other's bitch. I'm okay without that. Okay. Now, if we were to have, like, a third person in here and we could have, like, a triangle of bitches, I'd be down for that. A triangle of bitches? Yeah. A triforce of bitches, one could say. Oh, nice. I oh. like it. <laughs> so I can't do this. Oh, was I supposed to hit that thing with a pot? Maybe. I am a fool and a coward. Maybe not the coward bit. That's true. What are the three Triforce bits? Courage, Wisdom, and... Power. Power? Yeah. I want to say we just saw this puzzle and he just did it wrong the same way again. Shut your mouth. Do you maybe need to do the wind thing? I just need to go further. We need to go deeper. Do you need to maybe do the wind thing? I got my bombs! Where, where you throw... A vase like that? You know what? I've had enough of your... See, I can't even turn around, though. Hmm. That's a problem, then. It didn't work out. That's pretty funny. Okay, so it was, in fact, not the thing that we were supposed to do. I'm really good at this. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, can you toss a bomb onto it? Can I? Oh. Like how you did the fairy cake? Where you have to, like, set it down and then pick it up and toss it? Kobe. Shit! Hooray! Bomb tossing, it's kind of important. Yeah, I guess I need to get used to the concept. Hey, look, another heart that you can grab really quick, so that way we don't get the beeping here in a second when you're about to die. Cut. Your mouth. I'm just saying. I like that his job when I'm playing a game is to tell me how to play the game, and I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's, that's proof that we're really good at what we do, you guys. Uh, yeah, it's also a good summation of 
uh, our, our relationship yeah, and just in general. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, oh good, okay. More puzzle. Yes. Let's do this shit. And you can tell I'm not really using any sort of guide or anything to help him out with this because he just keeps doing it badly. No, I'm doing it correctly. I've or, played Pokemon, I know a thing or two about this kind of puzzle. See, I did it right the first time. Especially uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. They were really big on these. Got me. Emerald is still my favorite Pokemon game. Uh, I think that they've just really gotten better over time. I really like the 3DS games a lot. That's a very fair point. Oh, I like some of the 3DS games a lot. Um, but nostalgia factor, man. I think that Sun and Moon was the most fun I've had with a Pokemon game in a long time. Agreed. Sun and Moon were both great. I'm really looking forward to Ultra Sun. Yeah, Ultimate. boy. What am I supposed to move? Hey, asshole. Are you maybe supposed to pull? I can't pull. I can only push. Get out of my life. He doesn't want it. He, he got to get you out of my life. He loves you. Lies. Yeah, that's probably I got lies. another blue piece. But it's all left side. I think that they probably all look the same. You just gotta turn it upside down, my friend. Alright. I like how he looks when he's like that. He's like... Yeah, he's going Super Saiyan. It's great. I wish that you were Super Saiyan. Look, I'm just saying. Oh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm just super saiyan. Same. Bitch, I'm like no other. Get back here, you ladybug. You must die for the cause. Mose. Did you ever tell those stories and you're just really happy that someone else relates to you? Like, especially like if it's at work or like with a friend and they're just like, Hey, me too! I've just never told anybody that because I thought I was weird. Do you hate ladybugs? No. Uh, well, yes, that's true, but no. Fuck I, ladybugs, dude. I, <laughs> I was at work, and I was talking to somebody, and it, she mentioned that she doesn't cook. And I thought that that was wrong, because everybody should know how to cook. Cooking, <laughs> cooking is great. I can't say anything about that. <laughs> uh, there, there's nothing wrong with cooking. Cooking is like chemistry for hungry people. It's awesome. Baking is life. What, whoa, that dude's got energy. Take along, take along, take along for I run. Sure. But, uh. Yeah, finish your story before I you mentioned that whenever I cook, I feel like I'm, I'm on a talking show. So I'm always, like, narrating in my head the whole thing. Yeah. And a person sitting right next to me is like, dude, I do that same thing. Who do you do? And I do. And I mentioned that the celebrity and chef that I impersonate in my own head isn't a celebrity chef. I impersonate very white. Okay. So, yeah, that's a thing you now know about me. I'm like, just... I gotta tell you, the correct answer is Gordon Ramsay. See, I don't have anybody else to yell at. I like to think when Gordon Ramsay's alone in the kitchen, he just sort of, like, hums along to himself and is a really nice dude. Maybe. Especially, we've all seen him with, like, his family and stuff, and he's, like, a super cool dad. True. Turn the long, tong the long, ding down, dig the round, dig the ground, for I run. I have to say it like I run, because that's the only way it kind of rhymes. Or you could just be iron. No. They they just have poor rhyming skills. Look at this. This mine belongs to Malari and us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, tongue along, all this way long to get your sword <laughs> repaired? <laughs> the boss is down on the lowest level. What's in here? Oh, yes. Beds. Yeah. Oh, it's a check in our seven dwarves. Alright, so I'm guessing there's a frog in here to save, right? Yes. No. It was a jape! It was the monster jape! The monster jape! <laughs> and shout out to it being October now. It is! We can make those jokes and it's appropriate. Yeah. I mean, I make those jokes anyway. That's true. And it's often inappropriate. Hey, asshole. <laughs> He's pushing the wall. <laughs> Your turn to sing. Ting along, tong along. I guess it's Ting Tong Tong Along. Oh yeah, Ting Tong Tong Along. There we're, we go. We're That's, dumb. Yeah, Sorry. we're bad. Deep down, dig down, dig joy in the ground. Sure, why not? Let's pretend that's a thing. He just pushed you. I on. like it. What's down here? Now he explores. Now he discovers the joys of exploring. This might be the last RPG I let you play on this channel. No, I have plans for others. <laughs> 
But you're so bad at them. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll make you play it. I don't give a fuck. No, no, you can play it. You already have the plans. Just That is a huge anvil. Yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Bobby's a blacksmith. Yeah, I do that stuff. I know the things. He knows a thing or two about blacksmithing. We'll go to the Harbor Freight, and, like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> if you head outside from here, you can go see the mine the humans dug. But the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Oh, okay. Sure. That's... that's cool. Oh, shit. I think he's the boss. Damn. Look, I'm not gonna say that he's not the gym leader of Mauville City, but... <laughs> I, th I think he might be. I told him. Green glows nice. and an odd hat. Sir, might you be young cactus? I love it. Ali Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Bikori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescuing of princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. Well, our quoth. <laughs> <laughs> this like the Russian dude. I don't remember his name. It's good. Uh, it's been too long since I read those already. It Same. hasn't even been that long. Anyway. It'll take a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine, the human's dog. It's not far from here. Oh. Oh, shit. You gonna yep. attack the sword with three mallets at the same time and that's the way to fix the sword? Yeah. Okay. They'll be a while, Cactus. Let's leave them to it and find that element. I got you. Uh... That's actually how certain blacksmiths will work. Uh, the master blacksmith will be the striker. He'll hit the area that the other two are supposed to hit. Usually his hammer will be smaller. Yeah. So that way, if he needs to do some fine-tuning, he can, like, say, hey, hold off a minute. And they're hitting it with the huge, heavy hammers to try and move as much metal in one swing as possible. Interesting. I, I Now, when I say interesting and I yawn, I don't mean to be... I actually, I, I do find it interesting. It was not a joke. He's making fun of my life's passion. He's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what was this voice? I already forgot. Uh, what? You're going to the mine. If you've talked to the boss, I won't stop you. But be careful. I got you. Open the door. Oh, there There was no door. It's just a light, so it's slightly different looking. Yeah. Not Cornell. Oh shit, it's this thing again. Yeah. Give me that grow up juice. Grow up juice. Yeah, that's what you get inside that rock. Oh, okay. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind! Wind, guide me! Oh, shit. Hey, that stone marker crumbled. And there's another of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. You're a very strange bird. As he gets a boner and leans slightly to the left. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. But I think that we're about to go into a dungeon, right? It looks like. We're at the 20-something minute mark here? Yeah, okay. so we're going to go ahead and call it for this episode, I we think. got some good progress. We got through the mountain. We found the dude. We set up the next dungeon. The dude, yeah. Yeah, the dude. He bites. Yes. Uh, that re rug really tied the room together. It did. It tells somebody and then on flea it. peed on it. <laughs> good times. All right, so uh, because this is our 50th episode, I want to give a shout-out to my biggest inspiration for YouTube and I've done these two guys as separate shout outs before but I've never done a shout out to them together and so I'm going to do a shout out to the Super Beard Brothers who is the, the Let's Play channel that I routinely watch and love and pay attention to and, and you know watch every day you know, if it's a game that I like to watch um, I, I love those guys, they're my biggest inspiration for this because I was Bobby was like, oh, we're going to make a YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. And he's like, we're going to do it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I've been doing the thing. And so it's pretty great. And 50 episodes in, it feels good. He acts like it was entirely my idea. It was totally his idea. I super didn't want to do it. Kavandre was sitting around, like, moping around. Like, I don't know what to do with my life. Life sucks. It's so boring. I have no direction. So it's like, all right, look, we're doing a thing. Yeah. And we could do a YouTube channel for relatively cheap, and it's something that, you know, we could both enjoy, and it was great. Now, when we say relatively cheap, 
We had an idea at the time. <laughs> it didn't turn out that way. No, that, it didn't. We've spent way more money than we ever <laughs> planned on. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that's my, my special 50th episode shout-out. It's Super Beard Bros. Go check them out. They're fucking amazing. My special 50th shout-out, um, I don't really do YouTube a whole lot. I think I've worked Aside from ASMR. Aside from ASMR. But I think I've watched more YouTube trying to get a better understanding of how to do this channel since we've started than I ever have in the entire life before. Right. Um, so really? My, That's really, a lot. Yeah. I really did not do that much YouTube. So my shout out is instead going to be to the person that inspired me the most as a kid to learn more about stuff, to read more, gain a better understanding, uh, love books, stuff like that. And that was the first book series that I really, 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 like, holy shit, got into and obsessed over and all that stuff. So my shout-out is going to be towards the Red Wall series. Uh -huh. This is a series written by Brian Jocks, or Jacques Hughes, if you're talking about it French. But he's not French. He's Zork. British. So it's Brian Jocks. If it's, if it's French, I don't think you pronounce the S. You don't pronounce the last letter in most words. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, I pronounce it Brian Jocks. I... He's written a ton of books in the series. There's, he wrote them sort of out of order. So like there's a release order and then an actual chronological order. Uh -huh. Reading them either way is perfectly fine. I like the release order because it builds the world better when you're trying to connect all the stuff. Okay. Um, it's about anthropomorphic people. There's this red wall abbey that they're in a forest and there's like always getting attacked or having to go save somebody. There's a salamander strong with just this huge fire mountain or volcano that's protected by like this evil warlord badger who's not usually evil, he's just a badass and he usually comes off as evil until he saves the day. Got it. Um, Spoilers. I guess. No. <laughs> I don't I don't know, I didn't read them. Anyways, it's a great series of books. There's a whole whole bunch of them. Somewhere around the teen area, I started reading them in fourth grade. Yeah. So and I read them all the way through the end of high school. So they're really good. I really love them. A whole bunch of stuff that he described, I was like, that sounds a bit weird. That didn't make sense and I'd research it. And that's how I started researching all the stuff that I know now. Nice. So, to the person who inspired me through your written works, I shout out to you, Red Wall Series and Brian Jocks. Hooray! Uh, yeah, I, I never read those. My sister was really into them when we were young, but I never, I never read Red Wall. And I, she told me, hey, unless you like people talking through the text exactly the way that they would talk in, you know, their voice with their accent, you probably won't like this. And I'm like, yeah. I don't need a book full of Hagrid's, which was always kind of what I thought it was. And my uh, roommate David is nodding yes emphatically yeah. behind Bobby. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. And it's great. Yeah. So I think that if I do, it'll be audio. Sure. Uh, that, that might work. But <laughs> in the written works, it's, he's very good at conveying the accents and the mannerisms of the spoken language. Yeah. And it's great because so few authors are good at that. And he, he fucking nails it every time, man. Nice. All right, guys, we will catch you next time, uh, and see you later. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Bye.